Through the crowded halls of DeVos Place, 22 portraits of women affected by cancer are displayed. My name is Lisa Fredericks. Lisa, one of the women featured in the piece, Crowns of Courage, was approached with a very direct question. She came up to me and said, do you have cancer? This question would lead Lisa down a path that would bring healing and joy and introduce her to an incredible project called Crowns of Courage. I knew the project and I was excited and said that that was wonderful and they said that they were going to try to make sure that I was crowned. The first step in the process of giving back to these women of courage revolves around an ancient art form, henna. Henna is natural, it's organic, it's it's safe for the skin, um, fused with lavender essential oil, and it's temporary. Amanda connected with the individual women and worked with them to develop an artistic design that gave each of them confidence to keep fighting. I started getting to know more about cancer and about what the ladies would go through. It wasn't just losing their hair and their eyebrows, it was losing a lot of their identity when they look in the mirror. Combining this new empathy for these strong women fighting cancer with an interest to enter art prize, Amanda was led to meet photographer Dave Burgess, and an idea was born. We wanted uh, different diversity, different types of stories, different ages. Henna artist Steve Stone brought his talents among many others in a team effort to create more than just a photograph. Incorporating makeup artists and professional photographers, what it does is it creates this encapsulation so that these women get this token to move forward with that motivate them on their journey. The henna portion of our, the experience takes two to three hours. We have a makeup artist, professional that comes in, and the subjects, the crownees, um, get two or three hours of pampering. You are basically treated like a queen, a princess, a goddess for hours. This pampering process really makes the woman feel special, and it shows in each of their pictures. Typically after that, they'd step into my studio and we would shoot for an hour and a half to two hours. Dave ends up with between two and three hundred images, shot from multiple angles to capture each woman in a unique way. I went in and they sat me down in a little princess chair and started to do the artistry on my head. And you stand up and they stand you in front of this mirror and I was in absolute shock because I went in feeling tired and I saw myself and I felt beautiful again and I hadn't felt beautiful for months. So to feel like a goddess, I felt like a goddess. I was sparkly and shiny and I had color in my face. I had a hard time getting a serious shot because I was so excited and so thrilled about how I felt and um, the care that everybody had taken of me. It wasn't just the women in front of the lens who were greatly impacted, but those behind the project would be forever changed. They've taught me so much. They've taught me to be more bold and to share my weaknesses and my strengths and to ask for help when I need help. It just puts you in a whole new perspective because yes, this is temporary for me, but some of these ladies, it's, they're going to be battling the rest of their lives. It's, it's emotional to stand back and see all of these women that have been affected by cancer. And, and in all different ways. So it's a club that's pretty elite and I feel pretty proud to be part of. Through the ups and downs of battling cancer, they have shown courage through the hardships. Crowns of Courage is more than an entry in an art competition. It is food for the soul. I'm Alina Monsonia with Beyond the Rock.